Hey, it's Matt from the Grain Arcade here playing some more Farming Simulator 15. Uh, we're starting the Sosnovka map. This is the Gold, gold Edition map from uh, Farming Simulator from Giant Software. And uh, it's based in uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, the buildings are uh, in need of repair. Uh, the uh, economy is fallen here in uh, Sosnovka and uh, the ag agricultural uh, business has certainly gone downhill and we're here to fix that so let's get started uh, this is our uh, older tractor here it's a Zetor Crystal 1204 5 I guess um, Let's see what all we have. Yes, we get rid of hello and let's make some adjustments here first. Uh, we'll turn plant weathering off and we'll turn our time down to real time. And we'll get rid of that help. Alright. Let's just tab through. There's our combine. This is our first field. This is field 19. Looks like we own two, 19 and 14. And uh, before we harvest that, we need to fertilize it. This is our older tractor with a cultivator behind it and then the tipper over there beside it. And here's our Zetor something Major 80. Got the cedar behind it and uh, we need a fertilizer. Don't think we have a fertilizer. Nope. So we need a fertilizer. But we don't have enough money for one, so... The thing about this map versus the uh, Westbridge and uh, Bjornholm maps is you only start with two tractors and a combine. That's it, as far as, you know, running equipment. Um, in Westbridge, uh, you start with five tractors and a combine, and, you know, you don't need five tractors, tractors to start out with, so you can sell those, and then you have enough money for a fertilizer. But we only start out with two, and we really need them to... Uh, to, uh, to work the farm. I mean, I don't, I don't think we can afford to sell them and then buy another one, um, unless we bought just a single tractor, which could be a possibility, but we really need to run up and get a loan from the bank first. So, let's go do that, because the cultivator itself uh, requires 90 horsepower, and the first tractor, the only tractor I think that we would be able to afford would be uh, Deutz Far which is 51,000. Certainly couldn't get the New Holland because it's only 75 horsepower. So let's go uh, to the bank and just get get our loan, go ahead and get our loan, and then we'll get our fertilizer and harvest that field, and we'll go from there. Definitely this is a, uh, a uh, larger map. Uh, Got a, a lot. Of, whoa! Got to get on the right side of the road here. It's got a lot of uh, possibilities. You can definitely do a logging here. There's designated logging areas that you can do that. And they've put in a lot of the uh, other trees that are not logging trees, but you know, ashes and poplars and birch trees and uh, all the other kinds that you can't cut with the uh, Scorpion King, but uh, like I said, there is a designated logging area right over there. And I'm sure we'll get into that too eventually. But right now, we need to focus on the farm. So we'll head up here. There's the uh, the chicken area. There's a grass cell point. These differ from the other maps. It's more in a uh, bunker type deal, you know. And I'm guessing they have this set up for America because the cars are driving on the other side of the road, so. Of course, I don't know. I'm so snow kind of eastern Ukraine, do they drive on the opposite side of the road? Maybe it's a country where they don't. There are some that, uh, that don't. Alright, there's our bank. 
Try to get into the bank. Is there a way to drive in? There's a parking lot. We'll just park right here. We got a playground over here. Yeah, I guess this is basketball. No nets, but kind of looks like basketball. What is this? Mm. Yeah, all the gas lines around here running up. All the gas lines are above ground. Go ahead and take our loan out here and get our fertilizer, get get to work on the farm. Stop back uh, by the shop and pick that up. Hello to oncoming traffic. I don't see any oncoming traffic. There's some traffic. So yes, yeah, Sosnovka. Um, formerly of the Soviet Union maybe, or uh, Russia, or somewhere around there. Tractor only holds 82 liters of fuel. Just tells you how big this tractor is. There I am. You look at the size of the tractor. It's pretty small. I wonder what the horsepower is on this. Uh, see, it's the 80, 75 horsepower. So this won't be pulling the cultivator. What about that other one? The older one we have. Yes, yeah, so it is 121 horsepower. Don't think we'll get to, to cutting trees right away on this map. Since we don't have uh, the loan and equipment to uh, establish that, uh, we'll just. Uh, focus on the crops right now and I guess some, maybe some fields. Uh, let's see, we need fertilizer first. Got a small one. I think I'm going to go with the, this one. I don't like to buy equipment that I might have to trade in right away. If I know I'm going to be getting some equipment and using it throughout the duration of the map, that's, that's what I want to do is just get the equipment and not have to sell it back. So I know I'll be using this. I'll go ahead and get that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get the Vaterstad cedar and sell the other cedars. Just because just because they're working with this so small. I mean, this one is uh, 6 meters. And the one that we currently have is 3 meters. So I'm, it's double the width. So I think it's a good investment. So we'll pick this up. And grab our cedar. I'm not sure what the horsepower requirement is on there. I probably should have looked at it before I... Yeah, that's 180 horsepower. 180 horsepower, so... May have to, uh... Sell this tractor very soon. And by very soon, I mean immediately. Keep the uh, the old one. It's got it enough. Uh, 180. How much was it? One hundred twenty-one. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it'll pull it or not. But we'll see. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and get him going on. Uh, was it field fourteen? And we'll just test it out and see. Real quick. This cedar compared to the tractor that I'm driving, you can, you can just see how big the tractor is. It's not, 
It's not a big boy at all. Okay. We will drop this cedar right here. I guess I could go ahead and fertilize them and get my weight first though. Because this little tractor is probably going to need it. Sell that cedar later. Alright, let's go start the fertilizer. And we can at least uh, get that crop. Alright, got him going. Now let's see if this tractor will pull this cedar. I'm hoping it will. Now the trick to these fields with these uh, beveled edges like this is to start them to where they turn into the uh, the highest part. And what I mean is if you if you started him on the other side and he come around like this, he's going to turn to the higher side. So he's going to turn to the right. But if you start him on that other side and he, he comes up and he finishes seeding like this, there's not enough field on this left side for him to pick up to turn back around. So you have to start him on the shortest side of the bevel. And hopefully he's got enough horsepower to pull this. If not, we may have to rethink things. Moment of truth. What do we want to plant? We want to plant canola. Let's see if this works. Well, he's pulling it, so. Looks like he's not having any trouble. He turns around here. Yep. Alright, well, we'll let him do that. Start our uh, combine up here and get him going. Not sure what his capacity is, but we'll keep an eye on him. Yeah, see, there's a lot of poplar trees around here. Look at them. That is ridiculous. Somebody really likes poplar trees. Look, they go all the way down there. All over this place. And oak trees. Look at all the oak trees. Those bright green trees. One thing, there's a lot of uh, a lot of logging possibilities on this map. Do some clear cutting and uh, you can make quite a bit, quite a bit of money off of logging.
First things first though, we want to get uh, a mower and a pickup wagon to start the biogas plant. You really want to start that right away because when you hit great demands at the biogas plant, it's the best way to make, to start some, some capital to make money on the map. Uh, I don't think there's a better way to do it, even, even in logging. Uh, unless you're playing on easy, uh, where you can get, you know, $17,000 to $30,000 per tree. Uh, on normal, you don't get that. Where you would get $17,000 on a tree, you're only going to get about three to 4000 on a tree. And it's, it's a lot of work just to make a little bit of money. But biogas plant is the best way. Just get a mower, a pickup wagon just to start, and start cutting grass around the map, um, filling in the bunkers and the silos, uh, just filling it up to the point where you can blanket it and then go to the next bunker. Uh, because once you hit a great demand for those, I mean, you can uh, you can you can earn some money really really fast that way. And it's not a ton of money. I mean, on easy, I don't know what it is on normal, but on easy, when you uh, put a bucket from a wheel loader into the uh, biogas plant, it's twenty thousand dollars per bucket. Uh, now we don't have a wheel loader yet. Uh, and I, I don't even know if this tractor can take a front loader. I didn't even check that. But we may trade that tractor in for a uh, for a small New Holland. Let's see. This is the Zetor 80. See, this is the small New Holland. We may go for it because it, it can at least do a front loader where we can sell the biogas and wood chips if we need to, if we hit a great demand for them. Where's it at? Here it is. No, it does not take a front loader. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this tractor in. And since the cedar works, since the uh, Vodersteiz cedar works on the, uh, the older tractor down there, I'm gonna go ahead and take the cedar in and sell it too. And I don't need this front weight because the old one won't take it. And the little New Holland T4. Yeah, I'll just call it the T4. It won't take a front weight, so. We'll leave our fertilizer here. And we'll go sell our cedar in our tractor and trade it in for a new Holland with a front loader. We can keep our uh, tipper. And we really don't need a cultivator. Come to think of it, you know what? I may just keep this weight and take. Go ahead and take the cultivator down. Oops. Because we really don't need the cultivator now that we have the Vodersteid, because it's a no-till drill. So we may be able to afford our mower. Our. Uh, mower and our uh, pickup wagon. Oh, this is a lot for this little tractor. Look at this. See, there it is sitting normal. Pick up the cultivator. And it really weighs this thing down. Better put my beacons on for this for sure. Oh yeah, steering is uh, oh steering has been compromised by this. I'm gonna have to take it easy. If I could put my hazard lights on, I'd put them on too. Whoa. This is like driving on uh, snow or something. All right, and once we get this done, get this sold, and get our new equipment. We'll end the episode uh, for the very first episode of uh, Sosnovka.
This is not designed for this tractor. Oh, my front wheels are off. Oh, there's a tree. I think I cultivated a little bit of the side there, but... Yeah, this was not meant for this at all. Cell point is right over here. Alright. Well, Sator, you were good for about 15 minutes. But we gotta get rid of you now. Alright. 83,000. We'll go ahead and get the T4. And we'll get our front loader. There's a bucket. Get our bucket. And we may go ahead and get... We could run missions with a pallet. I'm going to go ahead and get that. It's not much. It's only 800. And we could sell some trees down at the sawmill. So I'm going to go ahead and get that too. Because, I mean, even when we upgrade to a T6, we'll still use these implements. So, all right. We have that. Really need a large weight for the back of that. small one. Boy, that looked like a that looked like a medium size or a large one on the Zetor. Now, let me see uh, what we got here. Tell you what, we may go ahead and go cut just a few trees somewhere and uh, take them down to the sawmill. Certainly can't cut the big ones, but we could cut some small ones. Yeah, I'm gonna need a weight for this. Go ahead and get a large one. Let's see. Hope it's not too big. I don't think it'll be too big. I think it'll work just right. So. We've got our new equipment. This is the new Holland T4. And um, this guy's ready to be emptied. He's full. And uh, I guess the other one worked pretty good because he's already finished pretty well. So we'll take him over to this next field, park him. And uh, on the next episode, we'll uh, finish harvesting this uh, field uh, 19 over here. And uh, we've got our farm rolling. So until next time, remember you reap what you sow, and we'll see you later.